Drop a like on this video if you brush your teeth this morning. I know you ain't sitting up here watching a YouTube video with your breath stinking. So if you brush your teeth, drop a like, no cap. Gotta get my fans up. I don't think they big enough. Or then I'm just saying, I'm thinking about Trey. I'm finna go dig them up. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Charles 2K coming back to you guys with another video. If you guys are new to the channel, always need to subscribe. If you guys are a return subscriber, always need to leave a like. Comment down below and let your boy know how he's doing. And turn on those post notifications so you never miss an upload from me, your boy. Also in the comments down below is our free card points giveaway. Go in the comments down below, follow all the instructions, and enter your chance to win some free card points. But today, today, as you guys can see from the title, I'm bringing y'all this after patch, unlimited crystals glitch, and dark ether camo glitch, all in one video. Okay, this is a crazy glitch that Treyarch did not patch or Raven, whoever. They did not patch it, all right? So I'm basically just gonna tell you guys how you would do it and what you will need to do it. So the only thing you will need is another person. So obviously you guys know how we rock. If you don't have another person, make sure you comment your gamer tag in the comments down below or simply just join my Discord and find somebody to do this with. But once you guys have that, here's what you guys wanna do. So from your end, what you guys are gonna do is simply go to the zombies menu, as you guys see I'm at right now, and you're just gonna start up a public game, all right? You're gonna search for either a public outbreak, Firebase Z, or Die Machina match, all right? Now, personally, I always do Firebase Z because it works the best, okay? So what you wanna do is simply, like I just did, go ahead and search for the match. And once you guys load up and select the class and you see your player in the game, here's what you guys wanna do. And basically by spawning, this is what I mean, your player actually comes into the game just like that. So what you guys wanna do then is hit the home button on your controller just as I'm doing right now. Go into your settings. And once you guys get into your settings, head to your network. And once you guys get here, you're just simply gonna uncheck and then recheck your connection just like I did. And now, once you guys have done that, you wanna simply go back to Cold War as you guys are about to see. And once you guys do it, it's basically gonna give you a black screen just like this. And you should get an error code once it loads up, but then it will reconnect you back to the servers as you guys are about to see. And basically this message right here will pop up. It's completely fine. All you wanna do is simply dismiss it. It will bring you back to the main menu and you just wanna reconnect, all right? And now, once you guys have reconnected, you will then be at the main menu just like this. Now at this point, you wanna go ahead and tell your friend to go ahead and send you an invite to his zombie lobby he must be in the main screen of zombies like the screen that starts up solo private and all that okay and you guys just want him to send you an invite and basically once he sends you the invite what you want to do is hit the middle button of your controller to go ahead and accept it from the playstation like the uh, interface you don't want to accept it from like the game menu well this is just how i do it you know i don't accept it from uh the game menu i accept it from the playstation interface just like this and basically what you're going to tell your friend to do is he's going to start up a private firebase z match all right or whatever lobby that you love and once the little meter at the bottom of the screen gets halfway, you're gonna tell your friend to go ahead and close the app, all right? And if done correctly, it'll basically look exactly like this. Now, and as you guys can see, at the point where I just told him to close his application, that's where you want your friend to close the application. So basically, he's gonna get so basically the A, when the, the little yellow meter is loading up, and that's where he wants to close your application. And at this point, if you did it correctly, you then will get a black screen and an error message. The game won't even load up. It will just simply kick you out, and it will look exactly like this. And as you guys can see, here's the error code right here. It will say, lost connection to matchmaking. Please try again. And as you guys just saw, if you get the error code, like I just got the one that you could not, you know what I'm saying, dismiss the uh, online matchmaking one, all you guys simply wanna do is have your friend send you an invite back to his lobby and uh, you still can do the glitch that way. As you guys can see, once you head over to your skills and your weapon classes, you will have a whole bunch of crystals and all you guys wanna do is simply apply it just as I'm doing right now. Just like that, max out whatever you guys need, whatever you guys want, you know what I'm saying? Just max out everything. And now this is the part where the instant dark ether uh, glitch comes in at. So what you guys wanna do, as you guys can see, here's my uh, LC10 and uh, I'm gonna go over to the gunsmith. I'm gonna go over to appearance, go down to camo, zombie, master, as you guys can see, I have dark ether on it, okay? Now, this does work for multiplayer as well. Let me just show you guys another gun. Uh, I'm gonna use my Farah for another example. Just go to my camo zombie, as you guys can see, I have dark ether available for that too, and that's only level 11, okay? So, here's the workaround, here's how you get it to multiplayer. What you wanna do is go ahead and tell the furniture in the lobby with to back out, bring party, and go into multiplayer. Okay, now as you guys can see, once you get transferred over, all you wanna do is go to create a class and select any gun you want to camo on. And in this instance, I'm gonna use a gun that I do not have max, which is once again the Farah, as you guys can see. I'm gonna go to my gunsmith, go over to camo, go over to zombies, go down to mastery, and I have dark ether available. So yeah, there you guys go. 
make sure you apply this before any type of updates or hot fix comes out uh, on this game because if you do not is it a chance that you cannot do the glitch and you will lose all your camos now some people were saying it did not stick on uh ps4 or whatever but for me it does stick i have the nine out of nine bugs so that could be the issue just to make sure it will stick but yeah there you guys go i hope you guys enjoyed the glitch i hope you guys enjoyed the video it's been your boy charles 2k i'll catch y'all in the next one i'm out peace